Grade 5 math number 55. Before we add fractions, will the sum be a fraction? We can use models to help us add fractions that have different denominators. So just as a little review, the top is the numerator, the bottom is the denominator, this is the fraction line or fraction bar that splits them, and this is a mixed number. It's a whole number with a fraction, okay? As we learned last year in fourth grade, when a numerator is the same as the denominator, it equals 1. We can take fractions, like a third and a third and a third, three-thirds is one whole, and we can compare it to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, and they're the same. They're both one whole. They're split differently. There's three in this one and there's six in this one. But if you look, one of the one-thirds is the same size as two of the one-six. One-third is equal to two-six. See that? They're equivalent fractions. Because of this, if we add the one-third to the two-six, it would be like adding a one-third and a one-third. Or four-six would be a total. If we added this on top of here, it would be the same as four-six. See that? or it would be the same as two-thirds. Two different denominators can make equivalent fractions. One-third and two-sixths are equivalent. They're the same size. By using models, we can see they're the same, and we can add them together. We can tell the sum will be more or less than one by looking at the numerators. Here's what we do. We circle or locate the bigger denominator. So which one is the bigger denominator? It's the 4. We add the numerators. 1 plus 2 is 3. We see if the numerator sum is larger or smaller than the circle denominator. 3 is smaller than 4. Then the answer will be a fraction. See? Find the bigger denominator. That would be the 16. We add the numerators. 2 plus 7 is 9. 9 is smaller than 16, so the answer will be a fraction. Find the bigger denominator. It's the 12. We add the numerators. 5 plus 11 is 16. 16 is bigger than 12, so we know the answer is going to be a mixed number, a whole number with a fraction. Find the bigger denominator. It would be the 5. We add the numerators. 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 is bigger than 5, so we know the answer is going to be a mixed number. See? If the numerator's sum is smaller than the biggest denominator, the answer will be a fraction. If it's bigger, if the numerators add up and the total is bigger than the biggest denominator, you know it'll be a mixed number. Okay? So sometimes the sum of two fractions is bigger than one. We can use a one model to compare them and find if the sum is bigger than the whole. So here's one whole and we're adding 11 twelfths and 5 eighths. Well, we could see that's going to be bigger than the 1, isn't it? And look, we would have known just by looking at the numerators and the denominator. Find the bigger denominator, that would be the 12. Add the 5 and the 11, that's 16. 16 is bigger than 12, it's going to be more than 1. See? If we add the numerators and the sum is larger than the biggest denominator, the answer will be a mixed number. It will be more than one, okay? <clears throat> we can make our own fraction strip models. What you do is you cut strips of paper or card so they're the exact same length. They all have to be the same length. You keep some as one whole, like this one or this one, so that you can compare and use them to other fractions. Then you split others with even dividing lines to represent the fractions and measure very carefully and make as many as you want. Then label each part. That way, in case you want to cut the pieces to add them, you'll know what size they are. If you don't label them, you're not going to know if it was a fourth or a third or a fifth. So you have to label each separate little piece then if you want, if you measured carefully, you'll be able to cut them on those lines and say, I'm going to add three of these one-eighths, three-eighths, to four-sixths. 
and you'll be able to take four of the little one six pieces and you'll be able to compare it to a one whole one and see what you've got. See? So measure carefully when you're dividing them. One tenth is very close to one twelfth. The sizes are almost the same. So you want to measure and draw your lines very clearly and pretty. Now if you look, look at my one, one sixth model here compared to my one eighth. See how sloppy that is? So you don't want to do it like this. You want to do it nice and straight and pretty like this or like this. Okay? If you do it really sloppy and crooked like this, it's going to be hard to tell when you put them with other ones if they're the right size or not. Okay? So this is before we even add the fractions. We can know if the sum is going to be a fraction or a mixed number. Okay? And have fun making the fraction strip models. It's a fun art project to do and it'll help you add these fractions later on. I'm going to talk about subtracting them next. I hope to see you there. Bye.